Everyone says that octopuses are smart, but have you ever thought that maybe you're just stupid? Every few months, there's a video that makes the rounds on social media of a man who saved an octopus that supposedly turns around and thanks him. The video shows the man releasing the octopus he scooped up in a container, and a few minutes later, he claims the octopus crawled back to thank the man by putting its tentacle on his foot. And then a bunch of morons on the internet interpret this as a display of gratitude. Here's one such article on a shitty clickbait website called Inspire More. The article gushes about how the octopus demonstrated an unmistakable show of gratitude. That's not a show of gratitude because octopuses don't understand what gratitude is. They don't understand human psychological behavior or the complex evolution of human customs throughout the ancient and medieval ages. And even if octopuses did understand the concept of gratitude, there's no fucking way that they'd be able to show it to humans in any form that we'd be able to recognize. After all, finding an octopus's tentacle on your shoe could be perceived as an act of aggression. If you came home from the beach and told your friend, hey, I had a great day at the beach, an octopus put its tentacle on my foot, the first thing your friend would ask wouldn't be, well, was it thanking you? But this is all just speculation. I can actually prove that this octopus wasn't thanking the human. Let's look at what we actually know about it. First of all, it was beached. So we know one of two things, that the octopus was either a dumbass or suicidal. Being that the octopus didn't immediately beach itself again, we can safely assume that it wasn't suicidal and instead just a dumbass because it couldn't avoid shallow waters. Now that we've established that the octopus is a stupid moron, it's more likely that the octopus was trying to bumble its way back to the sea and accidentally bumped into this man's foot. He wasn't putting his tentacle on his foot as a sign of gratitude, he was most likely trying to comprehend what just happened and it took him this long to process it. If you want more proof of what a disoriented, bumbling dumbfuck this octopus is, watch how it turns away straight in one direction, then stops abruptly and goes in a completely different direction. This octopus sucks at navigation. What a moron. There's another video like this where an octopus that was supposedly saved by a family returns to show it gratitude. The way this octopus shows the family gratitude is by stalking them. They even said in the video that he walked along the beach and he followed them. We don't know anything about this animal. It's a totally different species. For all we know, this octopus is pissed off. I sure am. They played some sappy new age music in the video, but if you replace the music with something more appropriate, it seems way less sentimental. Here's another video of an octopus that got saved and the caption reads, tiny octopus thanks rescuer with a ink goodbye. You know you're in for a treat when they use the wrong indefinite article in the title. A man finds a stranded octopus and then picks it up, and then you can clearly hear him getting bit when he said, he's got sharp bits at the bottom. He's got little sharp bits in the bottom. Those sharp bits are the octopus's beak. Then when he puts the octopus into water, it squirts out ink, which can cause blindness, irritation, and even death in some animals. We know objectively that the purpose of octopus ink is not to say thank you. That would be like saying thank you with a punch goodbye when someone rescued you. This stupid obsession with projecting human emotions extends to other animals as well. Here's a video where a tiger is being introduced to kittens. The tiger couldn't give less of a shit about this man holding a kitten in its face. So the tiger's head turns to the side as he looks off, and then the man in the video tries to project human emotions onto the tiger. He's thinking about it. And he's shaking his head, he's saying no. <laughs> the tiger doesn't understand concepts like yes and no. And even if it did, he wouldn't know how to communicate it to a human. In fact, if you look closely, the reason the tiger shook his head was because a fly landed on its nose. Stop projecting human emotions and affects onto animals. They don't understand our culture, they don't understand gratitude, and they barely have any self-awareness. They're not smart creatures. If they were, they probably wouldn't end up beached or stuck in a cage with some idiot holding kittens in their face. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Maddox. For all we know, this octopus is pissed off. Pissed off, pissed off, pissed off. I sure am.